everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian, thanks for tuning in. Uh, today I am doing a really cool uh, piece. It is a flip cup and drag and swipe. Um, I'm using some really cool colors. I do apologize, I've been under the weather the last few days and so I'm just now starting to feel a little bit better, but I painted this at the very beginning of me getting sick. So. Anyways, um, let's get down to the campus and get started. I'll show you what I was doing. I'll be right back. All right, everyone. So today I've got a 24 by 36 canvas. I'm repurposing this one. Um, I wasn't real crazy with how the swipe came out in it. So I am going to do a different painting on this, which like I said, I'm going to do a flip and drag and then swipe. Um, my colors, I'm using a lot of colors actually. I'm using primary magenta from Amsterdam. I'm using Thalo Blue mixed with a little bit of King's Blue from Amsterdam. I got Titanium White, Amsterdam. Payne's Gray from Creative Inspiration. Oops. Thalo Green from Soho. This is a little bit of metallic cobalt blue mixed with some deco art ice blue and 24 karat gold i'm gonna need about 30 ounces of paint for this size canvas so i'm probably gonna bit about 31 32 ounces all right so we'll fill up both cups at the same time gonna do nice thick layers So my friend, who you all know, Kelly with Feral Art, she came up to see me yesterday and we painted and we went to dinner, had a good old time, had some cocktails here at the house. It was a lot of fun. I think my paint's gray might be a little bit thicker than most paints, but that's going to be okay because it's all going to meld together. And these are going to be really messy flips. That's okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is lay out some white. So we're going to put the first cup here. One, two, three. And the second cup right here. Now I'm just going to lift and pull. Let that come together. Just put a little bit of the cell activator on the back of this palette knife and let it run off here.
You're short and sweet. Here. Just swipe up. And off here. The reason why I did short is I want to let the cells be nice, bright, and prominent. If I would have kept going up through here, it would have started to get really, really faded. And I want to see if I can keep everything intact as far as the coloring of the cells. Start right here. Press lightly. I'm going to come right through those. These ends will go off, so it's not too concerning on how they get the shape of them. So this one, I'm going to go that way. Slightly. This one I might kind of go up through here. It's light. Keep the front end up. All right, so I've got a little leftover paint here from another pour. I'm gonna use that as flow extender here. Okay, one more torch. All right, so the first thing I know I wanna do is kind of go down this way. So I will kind of go up and move it. Hope you guys can see. I'm going to go slowly and off the end. Now I got to go back here, bring the paint here to the center here. Back up.
Still got a lot of paint on here, so I gotta be careful. Tip some of this green off. Okay, so what I really was planning on doing was kind of opening up the white into more of like a V shape. But now I I'm digging actually what I'm getting out of it. I like this little island of white out here by itself. It's really cool. Um, the problem is going to be how much paint is still sitting on this canvas. walk this down. I've got a little bit still too much paint on here. That ought to open that up a little bit. Oh yeah. Okay. This is really nice, guys. So I was really going for kind of splitting this up into like a V and having more of a big white island, but this really came out perfectly. Like I like this. It gave a little bit of the white and you got a little bit of that color up there. I like the cells and how they've stretched out. Got some really cool lacing. The Payne's gray with the phthalo green, great combination. All right, guys, so here we are with the wet result. Had to stand on a step stool to get over here. <laughs> Let me show you what this looks like up close. Look at all the cells within the cells, really cool.
All right, we'll see this when it's dry. I'll be right back. All right, guys, here is the dried result. It is freezing today. It's only 25 degrees. So I'm gonna do this really quick. All right, everyone, that's it for today's video. So that is the piece. Um, it can go in different orientations. I had it and I made it so it would, I'm thinking it's gonna go like this. It will get resin on it because I think the resin's gonna be really nice, but I love the coloration of this. The lacing in the cells and everything really turned out well. Um, <clears throat> still a little under the weather here, so I'm just trying to get myself back together so I can start painting again. So I've been laid up in the bed for the last couple of days. <laughs> so thanks everyone for watching. I'll see everybody next week. Have a great day and a great rest of the weekend. Bye-bye.